KRA has put it very clearly that all the returns have been given. It is witch hunt, it is religious witch hunt, it is political witch hunt, it is people who are planning on how they will take Pastor Ezekiel to be jailed in uh, the ICC court. That's why they brought up issue of genocide. It is the people who want uh, Pastor Ezekiel to be jailed on terrorism. That's a lifetime imprisonment. It is the same people who want him charged for mass murder so that they can acquire this property. We have seen people who have been intense all their lives for years and they have been preaching to us. But do you see any impact? It's a question we need to ask because we are being told about commissions and they are going to come round and going to regulate churches, but we are going to ask them, by which standards? Whose standards? Because if this church is not a standard, then there is no standard. This man has two dams. If today it stops raining, for the next four years, the people in this church and the community around are going to have water. This man is doing an airstrip. This man is doing an international school. This man is doing a university. This man has put all his employees in accommodation. They have houses. This man, nobody goes home complaining that they have not been paid their salaries. This man has built a church that is massive, that sits on six acres actually, not only five. This man has built and is still building hotels. This man has built petrol station. The malls are going on. The banking halls are going on. The restaurants are going on. And children are going to school. Tell me, returning to society, if this is not what it is, then what is? And then I will ask again, by whose standards are we going to measure this? By the religious leaders who have been put in those commissions, do they have any standards to start with? Let us just describe that. Do they have any? What is their basis? So, for starters, uh, in court in Nairobi, the court stopped or uh, injuncted the church from uh, operating in uh, using its bank accounts. But then uh, I also came to know how many people are affected by those orders, how many workers are in this compound, how many other uh, uh, issues are affected by the issues of the orders that uh, injuncted the operations of the church. Mimi nilikuja hapa na mama mzazi alikuwa hajiwezi kabisa alikuwa paralyzed Kampuni tatu za magari silitukataa sikisema hatuwezi tukabeba maiti Lakini Mungu akatujalia tukapata gari moja tukafika Mombasa Vile tulifika Mombasa gari moja likachitokezea wakasema mnaenda new life tukasema ndio basi sita yetu imerudi mtapona Pastor Ezekiel Ojero is a true servant of God. He's an anointed man of God, sent by God for the whole world, not only for the East African people. So, and all I want to say is, let the government, individuals, pastors, the clergymen, everyone give our total support. Lucky to Mekujapa Kanisani. Tumekuwa tumefuata Pastor Ezekiel for, for a long time. Na uko pia kuna makanisa lakini ile kitu wakonayo hakuna uko. So tumekuwa na testimonies, tumekuwa nazo mpaka kutoka kwa kupitia YouTube.